The things that are here are, are at the cutting edge of what's, what's going on, where it's just now gone from being a research uh, a product from research to something that's more in the development and productization uh, stages. And, and so it's really exciting because you can see a lot of the new things uh, that are just coming out. celebrate and recognize the great innovations and the people who are behind those innovations in the state of Utah. This is the sixth year we've done it um, and every year it just seems to get bigger and bigger and the nominations just get more and more exciting. We have developed an electrochemical process to uh, separate sodium from uh, nuclear waste streams. By doing so you are generating pure caustic that can be reused back in the process where they can go back and uh, dissolve the waste that they already have. There's this strong link between the university research, the state government, as well as the, the local high-tech businesses, and that synergy is really starting to take off. It allows for high school students to be discovered. They go to zinch.com, they create a profile of themselves, and colleges and universities come to interact and recruit and communicate with high school students. We have over 400,000 students using it from all over America. Uh, about 500, you know, over 500 colleges, 50 of the top 100 schools in America use it. Uh, you know, some big name schools. So it's just a, it's a, it's a great place for colleges and students to interact on a platform, the internet, that students embrace. In the United States, there's 400,000 what are called stripper wells. A stripper well produces less than 10, 10 barrels a day. If we are able to go back and use our technology on on many of those wells, only about half of those wells, that represents another 180 billion barrels of oil producible domestically. Well, essentially what we've done is invented a new form of noble gas-based insulation that replaces fabrics as insulators. We're from Provo, as is actually a student-invented, owned and operated company. This is actually one of our alpha prototypes that I'm wearing right now. We're in development of our beta prototype. So you can see the dial right here on the jacket. By turning this dial, I can actually you can see that it increases this volume of those chambers inside of the jacket. So it gives you that warmth on demand at the touch of a button. Well, these are all the growing companies in the state of Utah, all the best companies that are in, in the technology space are involved in this event. Think of it loosely as TiVo for your network. It's primarily used for security purposes. You have the ability to have that historical record and uh, have essentially complete visibility into all of your network traffic. Everything that crosses your network, you can replay that traffic, use any number of analysis tools out there to identify the root cause of the problem. This device enables the clinician to use this to actively pull the anesthetic out of the brain, the blood, and the lungs so that patients um, uh, emerge more effectively. They're able to, uh, to recover better in the recovery unit. We know that it shortens the time in the recovery unit, and patients in general do better and have less complications. So it's, this product's in use throughout the U.S. in a variety of hospitals. It's in use here in Utah. Um, this was invented by uh, two research professors and a practicing anesthesiologist, all who have uh, associations at the University of Utah. And this is really an effort on our part to try to help highlight these companies and get them the recognition they deserve. And we've found that as they're highlighted and recognized, um, investment uh, investors approach them and they are able to raise capital, they're able to get their products to market and it helps promote these companies and get them sort of economically going in the right direction. It's a real boost for them.